Okay, so we're gonna get up and move a little bit here. Woo! Hey everyone, it's Ben Hardy here, and in today's we're gonna be reviewing the all-new Audi A5. First and foremost, though, a huge shout out, thank you to the strong Audi here in Salt Lake City, Utah, for giving me some time with this A5. I'm gonna include a link to their inventory in the description down below so you can check out what they have currently. If you have any questions or need any help whatsoever, just ask for Mike or Landon. And then on a side note, if you want to save time, money the next time purchase car, link to my car buying guide in the description down below. Let's get into it. Under the hood, we have a turbocharged two liter four cylinder that goes through a seven speed dual clutch automatic transmission. Fuel economy is 24 around town and then 31 on the highway with power outputs being 261 horsepower and then 273 pound feet of torque. This does have a 12 volt mild hybrid system as well. Let's go over the front end of the A5. So first off, you guys can see we've got distinctive lines here on the hood that just make it look a lot more muscular. I love Audi's new daytime running lights here with the headlights. I think they look absolutely fantastic. And then, you know, we got some accenting here off to the side of the parking sensor. And then here's the front grille. So you got the chrome on the grille. And then you can still get the uh, black optics package with the A5 to make everything all blacked out and sportier from an appearance perspective. Notice the camera there at the bottom of the Audi logo, by the way. And yeah, I just love Audi's front end styling. Coming around the side here, our tire wheel setup is 245, 40, 18 in the front and over in the rear as well. And then you guys can see here with the design of the wheel, well, five spoke design, and you got the silver, which again, I think just Neil has a classic luxury car appearance. And then notice we have our S line badge there on the side. And other than that, the A5 is pretty simplistic when it comes to the design. Now, one last thing I want to mention here at the front is. Notice when I lock it, you know, pretty normal. And then when I unlock it, it does a cool little dance there with the lights. So here's a key fob. We have our unlock function or lock function, and then the opening here for the trunk Audi logo there at the bottom. So I'll press this a couple times and the whole hatch will pop right open. Notice we have a cargo cover already built in and storage space back here is absolutely fantastic. And then if we kind of uh, push all these mats forward, you can see the spare tire just underneath and yeah aside from that this is really nice too so i guess this is technically a hatchback and not a trunk anyways got the lock function and then you can press that and that'll lower the whole situation right back down now finishing things up with the rest of the rear you guys can see here we got the cool tail light dance as well with the sequential tail lights that's definitely fun and then pretty normal badging here in the back we've got parking sensors here at the bottom and then you can see the covers there for the exhaust tips. They look pretty aggressive. And yeah, styling on this is really nice. So here's the rear door panel. And this is where things get pretty exciting in my opinion. So first off, we've got this Alcantara right here. And then you guys can see here with the leather padding and stitching that goes all around. I think that looks fantastic. And quick look at the window control. And yeah, just all the trim looks really good. And then here are the seats. So actually, we'll show the top of this one, that'll look better. So you got like these inserts here on the seats with the leather. It all uh, blends together really well. Uh, popping in, there's your legroom. There's the headroom. Got a little storage net there. Got some vents, heated seat controls, climate controls, and then some charging ports as well. And then we have our center console storage. Now the cup holders themselves are kind of weird. You have to just like lift them forward like that. They look cool, but definitely interesting. Let's head to the front. So here is the front door panel. You guys can see again with all of the Alcantara and the leather trim down below. All of our window controls right here with the mirror adjustments. They do power fold in and they also have blinds monitoring. There's a quick look at them. Memory seat function right there. We have our little S logo here because it's an S line. And look at the front seat. Again, got another S logo there and I love the inserts here. Audi does a really good job with their seat design. I think obviously nothing crazy from color perspective, but the seats themselves look really good. Power adjustments here on the side, pedals look great. Then we have our light controls right there. Steering was manually adjustable. Let's pop in. So here's the steering wheel for the A5. Really nice leather trim here at the top and at the bottom. Notice we got the S logo and then this golf ball texture here on the sides and get a slightly better grip. Paddle shifters here on the back for that dual clutch. Got some controls for the center stack, heated steering wheel button, voice command, volume controls. And then we have a bunch of stocks like turn signal stock, cruise control stock, windshield wiper stock. There's the steering wheel. 
So here's the center gauge cluster, full digital gauge cluster, and it's cool that you can actually change the whole uh, viewpoint here at the gauge cluster because it's Audi's virtual cockpit. So definitely a cool party trick. And yeah, overall, I just like the general look here of the gauge cluster and just how customizable uh, the gauge cluster actually is. I think that that's pretty important. So here's the center infotainment system. First off, if we pop into reverse, we do have a backup camera with trajectory lines that turn with the steering wheel. And then you guys can see here, we've got a bunch of different viewpoints here with the camera system. I mean, you can see out of like every single angle. So parking this is not gonna be an issue whatsoever. Now moving from that to the rest of the infotainment system, it has this uh, like clicking sound when you press everything, you guys can hear that, definitely fun. But yeah, really responsive screen. Um, this is Audi's more modern infotainment system. So I think it works great. Let's start with the camera focus there. But notice the drive modes, we have our comfort, auto, dynamic, individual, pretty straightforward. When you change the drive modes, it kind of just changes uh, the little track around the A5, which is pretty interesting. We've got dual zone climb controls here for the front heated seats as well. And then we've got the analog control for the drive mode select. Hard to see there with the sunlight. Auto stop, start, stability control, parking assist, parking sensors. And then that's just turn off the screen and then a little 12 volt right there with our stop start button here off to the side. A couple cup holders here, some more storage space. Shifter, again with that golf ball texture there on the top. And then notice you've got the manual shift function. Parking brake here with our little volume control. And I love this trim here. I think that looks great. Wireless phone charging pad here in the center console. Pretty normal glove box. And this is Quattro right there. And I love, again, the fit and finish on the dash. I think it looks great. And then popping up top, we actually have a sunroof here. So you got the control for it right there. Uh, it's just like a mini one, but like it's all automated, including the shade where usually, you know, it wouldn't be, which is interesting, but black headliner. So here's our window sticker for this A5. Um, you guys can see all the standard equipment and then the warranty, four year, 50,000 mile, new vehicle warranty. Um, now this one, you guys can see Daytona gray pearl effect. Um, this one has the prestige package. So it's got a lot of options added to it and the S line package as well. So after all options, total MSRP is 58,285. Base MSRP is 46,000, if you guys are wondering. Let's see how it drives. Well, let's talk about visibility before we set off here. Here's your visibility of the hood and hopefully you can now see the heads up display. Both of the mirrors. And then throughout the rest of the rear. And let's set off. So setting off in the A5 and it's kind of funny. I reviewed an RS5 this year and I'm reviewing the A5 now. I haven't reviewed the S5 yet. So I guess I'm just going at either end of the, you know, five series spectrum, whatever you want to call this. Um, first off, I really like the seats. Um, they actually are kind of like a mix between being like soft and firm, which I don't know, I really appreciate. I think that it just lends to, you know, it, like a, an experience where you feel like you're being held in place, but then it's also, it's not uncomfortable. So I think that's great. And I guess this is great to show us a bumpy road here because of all this construction they have going on in downtown Salt Lake. If you guys don't know, they are trying to make it so that this is a more walkable city. So they're getting rid of a lot of the road and they're adding in a bunch of sidewalk to try to basically convince people to no longer drive here and to mostly walk. So <laughs> yeah, we'll see how that goes, right? Um, but other stuff, I love the steering with Audis. Uh, it's very light, but it's very direct. So it's, it's kind of interesting because most automakers will like make their steering like overly synthetic in terms of like the heaviness. But this, it's, it's very light, but like when you turn the steering wheel, inputs instant. So I don't know, I like it. Uh, it's, it's, it's an interesting experience, but I like it. Um, some other stuff here is, ripe comfort's really good too. Like I said, going over the bumps, it was great. So it, it's a good luxury car. I understand why a lot of people will daily drive these. And you know, there's no drama with Audis. Like, you know, you put your foot on the gas and it just, it just goes. There's no spinning, it's just, it just moves. It's always, it's always a fun experience. Pop into dynamic. I wanna see how this kind of changes things. I, and I also like the gauge cluster. It's, it's just a cool modern aesthetic. Definitely feels a little bit firmer with the suspension. And I can tell throttle response is a little bit more aggressive as well. One thing I will say that I don't understand that uh, luxury automakers do is uh, plastic paddles. 
So like I can get this on, I, I get like getting this on an economy car, but like this is, you know, it's a relatively expensive Audi. I think that they should just do nice paddles all across the uh, board. I'm not sure what the, why well, I, I, we all know why they do it, right? It's, it's to help save on cost, but yeah. Okay, so we're gonna get up and move a little bit here. Woo! That's good. Um, one of those things, I feel like most people nowadays actually like use their paddles, right? They aren't just sitting there, and so, you know, they want something nice to touch. So, I guess that's just a Ben Hardy thing of the day. Yeah, it's definitely way firmer in this dynamic mode. Woo! No drama, but this thing moves, wow. This is crazy, like, this is the, I'm gonna pop back into auto. This is the base model, right? <laughs> when it comes to the powertrain, and it's super quick. It, it's this is this is the thing that this is the thing that's fun about Audis. So yeah, summing things up, um, I think the A5 looks great. It's super practical. It's got lots of storage. It's comfortable. And here's the deal: is you know, yes, uh, I can't comment on the S5, but the RS5, I can comment on. Yes, it's fun. It is fun. It's fast. But for a fraction of the price. This thing is still, I mean, this is just as comfortable, right? It is really quick. It's, it's adequately quick, um, good fuel economy. Like, yeah, everything about this, just it just makes uh, sense. And so I, I think this overall is a great uh, value. And let me know what you guys think about the A5 and let me know if you think that you need to at least jump up to the S5. I can't comment on that yet, but you know, in the near future, I'll be able to. That's gonna sum things up with our video for this A5. Again, a huge shout out thank you to the strong Audi here in Salt Lake City, Utah for giving me some time with this A5. Check out the intro in the description down below. Ask for Micro Landon if you have any questions. I'll see ya.